Map fans. Today we're looking at natural disasters and I'd just like to start off with this map story that has been put together by Esri I believe and if you want to keep track of Hurricane Irma uh, you can click here to explore the map. It shows you the direction that the hurricane's been taking and over on the right hand side you get these photographs to uh, to show you what's happening where. So these are all geotagged photographs. If we go into Dominica here, you can see what's happened at Monte Cristi. And if you highlight the point, then it will show you which photo that relates to. So this is, as far as I know, a live map story. So more photographs will be added to this. Obviously, a lot of devastation going on in this year's hurricane season. And that brings me to my next point, which is the fact that I've been asked quite a few times recently as to whether or not I think natural disasters are on the increase. And really what I think doesn't matter. Uh, what would be interesting to know is do we have any quantitative data that could back up a yes or a no answer to that question. So on that note, let's have a look at some data. So in my search for data on natural disasters or natural hazards, I came across the Global Risk Data Platform. Now, if you're interested in this kind of data, uh, you can see the uh, organizations that are involved over here. Being a GIS YouTube channel, we should probably have a look at the map. So let's go straight into that and take a look. And there are all kinds of layers available in this map. Um, the metadata on this site is superb, so you can read about all the methods, how things were put together, the reasonings behind certain units, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so let's have a look at risk and multi-hazard mortality risk, I guess. The mortality risk of living in particular areas, and you can see that's, uh, that's put together. You've got your legend down here. Um, we do have other types of maps as well, so there's a thematic map um, here on earthquakes, the average annual loss in millions of dollars due to earthquakes across the world. So it will take you a lot of time to go through all of these, um, but definitely worth a look at this map. And you can see across the top here, we've got all kinds of things. You can graph this data, you can download it. We've got web services, more advanced uh, data extraction, all kinds. So let's go to the data download page just quickly. I'll show you how easy this is. Uh, say, for example, we're interested in cyclones. Let's click on that. And we've got all different uh, metrics here on cyclones. For example, you're interested in tracks. You just click here and that will bring up the metadata. It tells you all about how this was recorded over the different years. And I think this data set is from uh, 1970 to 2014. And if you'd like to download that, just go over here, click and choose your format and download and off you go. So really cool data sets here. Um, I'm hoping to do some further work with the Cyclone tracks myself, uh, just to have a look and see if indeed they are increasing qualitative at first, but then hopefully we'll do some quantitative analysis afterwards as well. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, the channel's been doing really well recently, so big thanks to all those of you that have subscribed, that have liked videos, that are posting comments, and yeah, happy mapping.